it's been a while since we posted our last video and there's good reason for that. Since July of this year, Tan and I have been busy working away on our property to uh, build our very own cabin. We're going to publish the whole process of building our cabin in a series of videos coming to you in the coming weeks and months. Of course, it depends on, on the workload that we have with both our business as wedding photographers in Vancouver, as well as, as the ongoing process of our cabin because uh, we still have plenty of work left. But uh, let's get right to it with the first step of things and that was the excavation. So this is the spot we chose on our property where we to build the cabin right in the middle of the trees. And here's how what it looked like back when we arrived in April before we changed anything to the land. Originally, we were thinking of building our outhouse there, but we changed that to building the cabin there instead. And of course, a couple of trees had to be taken out and everything went well with this first birch. But then when I got to the second one here, I uh, kind of got my saw stuck in there because it was a leaner and I was totally new to the game. Luckily, a neighbor helped us out with fixing it. Here we got uh, an outdoor contractor. He uh, came in with his little mini excavator. We had learned our lesson after digging for the outhouse that we were not going to hand dig anymore. And he uh, he did all the work in a record time of four hours from leveling to digging the holes. Right here we dug nine holes for the piers that our cabin would be built on. And then there was another big birch tree that a contractor uh, fell for us. And then came the best part where we had to finish up what the contractor started, which was squaring up and deepening the holes. Of course, it was back to um, hand digging in the very, very heavy clay soil, which went tediously slow. And there were some brutal days. Luckily, it was nice and warm back in summer. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we did the work, but it was definitely no fun. Here I'm hammering in some stakes for uh, the batter boards on which we would tie the, uh, the strings just so we could line all the piers and make them nice and level and cut off at the same height. Here's one of the, uh, the pier footings and you see us uh, assemble the whole pier. Of course we're going to cut, cut off most of that, that cardboard tube. They were 28 inch tubes with 12, uh, 28 inch footings with 12 inch tubes. Uh, and we had nine of them. So a lot of concrete, but better build it nice and solid. And here is the result of our hard labor. Nine piers in place. Well, nine tubes in place, that is. Then came the backfilling and... Hello, Yelger. What are you doing now? Is concrete filling day. Yes, it is. Hooray. And here we use the laser level to cut all the, the tubes at exactly the same height, regardless of the slope. And we do have a lot of slope left, despite the contractor doing some great work on leveling things before digging down. Next came the uh, the concrete truck. They actually came as I was finishing up with cutting off the last few tubes and hammering in some rebar to get everything in place. But it worked out. They filled up the tubes faster than I thought they could. I was catching up with uh, pushing the rebar in, in uh, a few piers and leveling things off. So it was a nice smooth result. Next, I had to work in record time again, still time pressure to get all the, uh, the post anchors in place and they had to be aligned and leveled. And here, of course, I looked uh, pretty tired and dirty after you work, but it's all good because we took some time to um, have fun with the neighbors and relax while the concrete was curing. Eventually, it was uh, time to peel off the, the piers and I had to build the beams that would carry the cabin out of pressure treated lumber. I did laminated beams out of uh, two by 12s, three ply, and they ended up being perfectly level and we were happy. 